Our topic are the indicators of economic growth. But before we talk about the indicators of economic growth, let us first identify what economic growth is. Economic growth can be defined as the increase or improvement in the inflation-adjusted market value of the goods and services produced by an economy in a financial year. Statisticians conventionally measure such growth as the percent rate of increase in the real and nominal gross domestic product. For economic growth to be more meaningful, it should be felt by the people. For this reason, economists consider increased per capita GDP as a more objective measure of economic growth than real GDP. A 10% real GDP growth rate does not necessarily mean that the real output share of every person in the economy also rose by this same percentage during the year. However, a 10% increase in the real per capita GDP indicates that the average output per person during the year also appreciated by as much. To understand this more, here is a figure that shows Philippines' real gross domestic product last 2018 to 2021. This figure here shows that the Philippine economy declined from the first quarter of 2020 up to the first quarter of 2021. It went into recession starting from the second half of 2020. This was primarily due to the onslaught of the COVID-19 pandemic. During the first quarter, 2018 to 2019, the GDP growth rate was 5.9%. In the second quarter, 2018 to 2019, it slightly decreased to 5.6% and so on. Then, a significant shift occurred. In the first quarter of 2019 to 2020, there was a decline with a negative growth rate of negative 0.7%. In the second quarter, experience a more substantial decline with a growth rate of negative 17%. In the third quarter, showed further construction with a growth rate of negative 11.6%. By the fourth quarter of 2019 to 2020, the decline moderated but was still significant at negative 8.3%. The impact of the COVID-19 pandemic is evident in the negative growth rates during these quarters. The first quarter of 2020 to 2021 continued to show contraction but a somewhat slower pace, with a growth rate of negative 4.2%. Overall, the data illustrates the economic challenges faced by the Philippines particularly during the early stages of the COVID-19 pandemic, leading to negative GDP growth rates and subsequently a recession. Another indicator is showed here in the figure. In 2019, the Philippine per capita GDP showed promising growth at 5.2% in current prices and 4.8% in constant prices. However, the subsequent year 2020 witnessed the erasure of these gains due to the global pandemic. The economic impact of 2019, with lockdowns and disruptions, nullified the earlier growth, highlighting the vulnerability of economics to unforeseen crises. The production possibilities frontier graph depicted in figure illustrates the developmental stages of a growing economy. At point A, the economy is characterized by underutilized resources, indicating that it has not reached its full productive capacity. This suggests stagnation, where the economy is not maximizing its potential output. The shift from point A to point B signals growth. Resources are now being more efficiently utilized, leading it to an increase in production possibilities. This jump indicates the economy's initial strides towards development. The subsequent jumps from point B to point C, D, and E represents consistent and sustained economic development over an extended period. The economy continues to grow, expanding its productive capacity. This sustained growth may be attributed to factors like technological advancements, improved resources allocations, and progressive economic policies. The progression from point B to point C, D, and E suggests that the economy is a trajectory of continuous growth. This sustained development implies that the nation has successfully overcome its stagnation utilizing resources more efficiently and, in turn, realizing its economic potential over time. And that's a wrap on our economic roller coaster, from the wild twist in GDP growth rate to the dance moves of per capita GDP. The Philippines has shown its economic resilience even in the face of pandemic party pressure. So, until next time, please keep grooving through the indicators of economic growth because in the economic dance floor, there's always another beat just around the corner.